Most of the computers coming around nowadays don't even have DVD players in them because I think they feel the same way I do. Um, but if you want to burn DVDs, uh, you will probably need to get an external DVD burner. Uh, might as well get a Blu-ray because they're cheap now. I think you can get a, get a pretty good one for like 50, 75 bucks. Um, and you can burn regular DVDs, regular CDs and stuff to those. All right, so let's talk about how to burn a DVD. Hopefully it'll let us do some of the steps. So I just go in the same place. I go to File, Share, and the top option is DVD by default. So if I click on that, that same dialog that we saw earlier pops up. Again, I can give it a name, all that. The settings are a little bit different for DVD. So since I don't have a DVD drive in my machine, the default output device is hard drive. So what this will do is basically make a disk image of a DVD for us. So I could take this file, this, um, this DMG file, move it to a machine that does have a DVD burner, and I could burn the DVD that way if I wanted. Um, let's see what options it gives us here. Yes, yeah, it don't even give us any other options. But if you had an external drive plugged in, you could select your external drive here, and it would just output straight to that drive. Uh, layers, don't change that. Leave it automatic. Uh, disk template, that's basically saying, do you want a white background or a black background when the DVD starts? Uh, when disk loads, you have two options. You can either show this menu down here, or you can just have it play the movie. Right? So if you're just doing one movie, it's nice to just play the movie. You, they just pop a DVD in, and boom, it launches, and it just plays. All right. And that's pretty much it to it. And then you would hit Next. And then it would, uh, one thing people don't realize is, just like exporting the movie, uh, there are no dialog boxes that pop up and give you a progress bar. It all shows up here on the HUD. So a lot of people will go, OK, I want to make a DVD, hit go, next, whatever. Wait, nothing's happening. OK, let's do it again. And they'll go and do it again. Wait, why is it not working? I'll go and do it again. And then you come over here and you click on the HUD, and they'll see that they're trying to export three DVDs now, right? So this is it's very easy to forget about, but it's very important. All right. One nice thing about FCPX is uh, when you make a DVD and it finishes burning, a dialog will pop up and say, uh, burn complete, would you like to do another? So you can take that DVD out, put in a blank one, put it in and hit OK, and it doesn't when you make a DVD, it's not just like taking a video file and putting it onto a DVD. DVD players don't read video files like that. It has to do with some transcoding, which takes time. If you click that burn again or burn another, whatever that option says, it doesn't have to retranscode everything. So it just starts burning right away. It's really nice if you need to do cut a couple of DVDs.